Now we've got the HTML skeleton in, and it's time to tag up these two files. I can see by this little blue circle that I have two files to save. So I have two options. I can simply choose File Save. That's what I did on page two. You see now I only have one to save. I can also just click on the document and type Command or Control S. That's my preferred way. So now we're going to add some common HTML tags. I will make line 8 my heading 1. That's the H1 tag. The minute I put the H1 in, if I go to the end of the sentence and type a left angle bracket and a forward slash, it'll give me a code hint that I can simply click on to finish it. I want these numbers to be smaller than the H1 but I do want them to be bold and a little bit bigger than regular text. So I'm going to give these the H3 tag. I don't know if you remember this from our slideshow, but the heading tags, the H1, H2, H3, and so forth, will make it bold and big, and it will put an auto return around it. I'm going to tag all of these numbers with the H3 tag. And then we'll take a look at what it looks like. So I can see I need to save. I'll take Control S. And then down here where it says index in my Visual Studio Code navigation pane, I'm going to click index and then Control click or right click and choose open with live server. When I do that, it will show me what I have. So again, I just want to show you what it would look like if these were EM tags, or let's make them strong, because strong makes it bold. When I change my front tag, the end one changes for me because of this extension that I added to it. It's called Auto Rename. I talked to you all about those extensions that I wanted you to add a little bit earlier in a video. So if I make this a strong tag, and I make this a strong tag, and save it, you'll see what that looks like. Once you open it in the live server, once you open it in the live server, you don't have to do that again. It just changes for you. So now you can see this that I changed to the strong tag right here is just strong and so is this one oops this one this is also strong but it's not as big as the h3 and the h3 is not as big as the h1 and it doesn't include that manual return so let's change this back to h1 i'm going to scoot this over so you can watch it happen save and now you can see this is bigger it's bold and it has a manual return let's put this one back to h3 so the heading tags are very key tags it's key to understand that h1 is big and h2 h3 h4 and h5 get increasingly smaller i chose h3 instead of h2 because I wanted there to be a good difference between the point size of these two things. Now I'm going to put in my P tags. P stands for paragraph. And then I will add a couple of other tags. If I save, you won't see any change because there's already a manual return. But I'm adding the P tag because I might be able to style it.
and the last one. And now I would like for these, oh look, I made a mistake here. I can see it over here. So I'll look over here and I see I put my H3 tag after the 4 instead of before it. If things don't look right over here, that means you've made a mistake in your code. And now I will uh, make my terms, just the terms, italics by using the EM tag. What I want you to pay attention to here is the sandwich order. What I mean by that is my P tag is on the outside and my EM tag is on the inside. So again, it's sort of like a sandwich, right? and one to go. There we go. Let's save it and see. Now you can see the italics within each paragraph. I want to put these exact same tags, the H3, the P, and perhaps some other tags on page two. So this one is called Five Topics to Learn About. I need to be sure and put that, copy it, and make sure my page has a title. This will be my H1. And these will be my H3s, just like the other page. Now I've got a series of paragraphs. So I'll add the P tags. Whoops. And you can see this is number two, and uh, we know from page one that there are five of these. So I've got to add paragraph tags for each of these paragraphs, and H3 tags for each of these numbers. And I'll ask you to do that on your own, and then we'll start up again with the next video.